Oh, trends today, that's so fine, the leaves of a binary tree. Uh, so basically we need to return a uh, array list, which, uh, which sub, uh, where the sub list would be the leaf. Leaf nodes. So for example, at the very beginning, the leaf nodes are 4, 5, 3, and then we remove them. So after removing them, the new leaf node is just a two. So we add a two at the list. And uh, in the end, it's just one. It's itself is a leaf node. So we remove it and add to the uh, list. So that would be the result. So how to solve this question? Mm. Usually, we will do the um, pre-order or post-order to get the height of this tree. So we know the root node would be um, uh, would have the height of zero, and this level would have height of one, and this level would have a uh, height of two. But this time, we find that we actually need to add the leaf nodes in to the first list, so which means 4, 5, 3 would have the level 0 instead of the usual level 2, if they would be put in the level 1 or level 0. And uh, this 2 would be have the level 2. This one would be put in the level 3, so it's in a re reverse order. So can we do the same thing? We still do the, uh, like, DFS. But uh, this time we will ask uh, their children to have the height and to return the height to the parent. So for example, for this node 4, it has two uh, non nodes, they would return negative 1. So for node 4, it would add 1, so it has a level 0. And uh, the same for uh, node 5, it also would have the level 0. So it would return the level 0 to the node 2. And node 2 would need to plus 1 since they are one level uh, down, right? So they should be 0 plus 1. So for node 2, it has level 1. The same thing, so we can get uh, this node 1 has uh, uh, level 2. So we can just add. Uh, Use it as index to add the result. So it's not uh, very hard, right? But it turns out it's like uh, the popular interview question. Okay, so now let's write uh, the code. Mm. So we write a uh, result here. Uh, integer result here. Array. So we'll do the help function and then we return result. Okay, so we need to return the height, the helper tree node root. So what would be the normal thing we need to do? In this case, right, if we go to now, we just do return active one. As I mentioned, it's not zero since uh, we just we will just use this as the index. So for four two four five three, they would have index zero. Uh, so it, if their children have um, returned negative 1, then they would add 1. So for them, they would have index 0. Uh, usually, we will do the uh, do something like this, right? Helper root. Things we need to use the value returned by the children. So we need to do the post order traversal. So we will do something here. And then we return uh, the height, right? So what we do is like, now we need to get the left equal to helper root left into right equal to help root to right. And then we need the curve, which means the height. It would be a maximum uh, between the left and the right, and we plus one. So is that correct? Let's, let's check, simply check. So for the node four, both its children would return negative one. So it add one, so it would be zero. For this node one, its left would return one. And then it's right to return zero. So it, it would uh, be one plus one, it would be two. So it would be put in the result index two. That's correct, right? So we return curve. Okay, here we need to either initialize this list 
So we only have this, uh, like the array list, but inside we didn't add any array list. So let's see. Like for the node 5, it should put in the index 0, right? And the same for the node 4. So if currently the result, the size, it's just a zero at the very beginning, it's zero, right? It's just equal to the curve height. Then we should uh, um, get curve uh, the, the B. Um, so, like previously, it's empty, right? Get new array list. And then we add uh, the we get curve, we add root over. Something like that. Okay. Oh, combine. Mm. So it's zero. Mm. Okay. So if uh, the size is zero, right? So it's basically empty. Then we should. Uh, oh. Okay. So get it. Then add. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, it's only to get it's just the uh, add. Uh, so like this is result, right? So for the first, uh, for the uh, inside, we need to add those array list. So we need to initialize the array list. Okay, so it's like a basic, it's a basic thing. Okay, you just need to understand what does that mean. It's like for the first, um, first you need to new uh, add uh, this array list so that uh, that would have one array list inside the result. So when we try to add uh, these two, it uh, we need uh, another array list array list. It will be the index one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.